So Eric Trump is in hot water, folks, this time because he tweeted a fake photo of Ice Cube and 50 Cent and Ice Cube was not happy about it. Now, the picture, along with Eric Trump's tweet, is on screen right now. And basically, he photoshopped or somebody else photoshopped and he's, you know, circulating it, an image of these two rappers at a sporting event, supposedly wearing Trump 2020 hats and Eric Trump basically saying these are two great, courageous Americans, implying that this is some sort of formalized endorsement statement by both Ice Cube and 50 Cent by wearing Trump 2020 merch. Now, Twitter took the step, and they don't often take this step, even with Trump and his family, of marking this manipulated media because it is fake. Here's the real photo. It is of Ice Cube and 50 Cent. They are wearing baseball hats, but with different messages on them. You know, 50's wearing a a Yankees hat, for instance. And it was very clearly not them making a political statement. And what made this juicier was that Ice Cube responded directly to Eric through a quote tweet, and he said some things about it that I won't repeat, but you can see them on screen, obviously indicating he was not happy to see this. Because again, at least as far as Ice Cube has gone, he has not in any way endorsed Donald Trump. Fiddy basically put up a message yesterday on Instagram or the day before recently implying that the tax rate under Biden would be too high for rich people and ergo he might be supporting Donald Trump. So that might be seen as a partial, you know, endorsement through negation. Like I don't like Biden. Maybe I'm going to vote for Trump, but it's not a formal endorsement, a.k.a. I'm going to do a press conference and say, you know, my supporters, my fans, my community needs to go out and vote for Donald Trump. And Ice Cube, while he has said he'll work with Republicans or Democrats willing to, you know, work with the black community and uplift the black community, he has not made a formalized endorsement of either Trump or Biden or anyone else. So far as I can tell, he just wants people to work with. And whether or not you think it's possible Donald Trump will actually meaningfully do anything for the African-American community, there's a lot of debate within that community about Ice Cube's strategy. The point is, none of that's an endorsement. It isn't. And this just shows how the Trump campaign, the Trump family and the campaign are so desperate for the support of African-Americans, so absolutely desperate for that community support, which is overwhelmingly planning to support the Democratic Party, that they are willing to lie and literally manipulate media so badly that Twitter has to call it out. That's what that's how desperate they are. They know they have so few actual black people endorsing them, either famous black people or working class, regular Joe and Jane black people, that they have to make stuff up. They have to take partial statements that Fiddy sent made, which seemed to be legitimate, and pump that up to this formalized endorsement where he's wearing a hat. And they have to take Ice Cube saying, I'm willing to work with anybody as a supposed statement that he's endorsing Donald Trump in particular. Like, look, at the end of the day, if they have to do this to show off black support, if they have to put so much effort into lying about how black people supposedly support them, maybe it's a sign they haven't been doing enough over the four years during the Trump regime, but also much longer through the broader Republican Party to actually win black people over beyond a few isolated cases. Because again, Why would you need to lie about it if it was real? Why would you need to doctor photos of two famous rappers and entrepreneurs if if, if they really supported Trump? Why would you need to do it? Why would you need to be so desperate, so cloying, so fake, so phony? So I'm glad to see Eric Trump get called out on this. So far as I can tell, he actually deleted the tweet shortly after Ice Cube called him up. But the internet doesn't forget when someone is famous as Eric Trump tweets. He knows this looks bad. I've heard some people say, oh, it's obviously a joke when Trump tweets these things. When I made the video about the fake video about Biden supposedly falling asleep on a media report, everyone said it was just a joke. Twitter doesn't get the difference between satire and real fake news. But the thing is here, if Eric Trump thought this was just a fun little joke, he wouldn't have deleted it. He got caught lying and he got bopped for it. 
It's good to see. If the Republicans want more black support, maybe they should spend less time with Photoshop and more time on policy.